In today's video, we're jacking out the new Dingo LMG. Make sure to stay tuned to the end for my loadout. If you're going to enjoy the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and let's get into it. Today's day shout out goes to my and Jean. I don't know where he is. Uh, G, even not Jean, G. G. Uh, not sure exactly how you spell that. Uh, I mean, how you say that, of course, it's, it's, it'll be up on the screen here. Down below in the description, make sure to go like and subscribe and support their channel. Again, it'll be up on the screen and down below in the description. Sorry if I didn't say that wrong, by the way. So yeah, make sure to go support their channel and now let's get into looking at the Dingo. Okay, so here we are in the training mode. As you can see, here I have the, uh, the Dingo LMG equipped. Okay, so decent fire rate uh, with the good luck up. Actually not like that, that bad um, recoil. Uh, the iron sight is actually pretty clean, although with the things by the side, it's a bit, it can be a bit obstructive. Not the best, not the worst time, not the best, it's about 6 out of 10 iron sight in my opinion, honestly. And now we are officially lagging. There we are, I'm back. Okay. Now let's check out the this first, this is the recoil. Okay, so that's also the most controllable recoil I've ever seen, like zero, literally zero horizontal recoil on, on this thing, I would say. Almost zero hold on to recoil, should we say. So, like, yeah, so this is from the pattern I've just seen, it's very, very easy to control. Of course, that's an 80 round base mag, which makes it a very good spray and prey weapon. And, um, not the best out at range, but uh, up close, it is, um, very nice, I would say. Probably one of the best, probably one of the best LMGs up close because of that, uh, have increased to a uh, yes, uh, into, increased to the fire interval. So, it's 28 to the upper button. To the legs and lower body, and then to the upper body it's 30, and to the, to the, um, the upper body it's 60. I mean, 30, 60. So, usually you have to have two headshots to hit a three shot, or uh, you have to hit uh, at least one or at least two upper body shots to make it a four shot, I believe. I don't quite know those, those stats there. Okay, now let's see what the range is like on this thing. Now let's go up to 20 meters because this is more of a close range gun. Okay, so it goes down to 24, 26, and 31. So you just, I think you can still consistently four shot out of that range, honestly. So yeah, uh, not the worst energy, not the best, obviously. But yeah, I think it's going to be definitely more of an aggressive energy than the. Than a, than a range LMG. So yeah, now let's get into the gameplay. Jeez, jeez, 
Not. Guys, here is my dingo loadout. We have the steel rain suppressor, which does size ability and plus 15% damage at range. We have the steel rain barrel for the plus 20% damage at range, minus 6% in fire interval, and plus 10 max uh, bullet speed. We have the steel rain stop for the minus 30% sprint to fire delay and plus 20% ADS movement speed. We have the steel rain foregrip for the minus 10% vertical recoil, minus 14, 40% horizontal recoil. Finally, have the black ops quick draw regrip tape for the minus 20% ADS time.